This is how you know you've made it as a vlogger. You start getting boxes of free stuff. This is from Aaron at Archon. You can never have enough totes. Cray. Tripod. Smaller tripod. Tablet travel stand. Selfie light. Not to be confused with cellulite. Mm. Not sure. Okay, I'm gonna set these things up. Okay, this is cool. This is a tablet stand which folds up nicely for airline travel. So I'll be taking that with me on my trip to Franklin and then on to Denver for social media day. So I'm excited about that. This is if you want a shorter dual broadcaster broadcasting from the tablet and from the phone. That's, that's stable. That's not going anywhere. What do we have here? Thanks, Archon. Thanks, Aaron. I look forward to testing these things out in the field. It's gonna be fun. So I'm trying out new gear this week. I thought it would be a time to talk about trying out new things. I'm uh, putting on a live event, a seminar this week. The registration is already closed, so there's no shadow of me self-serving and talking about it now. But some people ask me, why do you do that? Why do you put on live seminars where you have hundreds of people coming to attend? Because isn't that risky financially? Isn't it demanding physically and intellectually, emotionally? Yes, all those things. That's why I do it. It serves people, number one. And number two, it serves me because it causes me to stretch by doing something out of the norm, by exerting pressure on me by putting my body, my mind, and my heart under stress. I mean my emotional heart. See, we're designed to respond and grow in times of pushing against resistance. That's why exercise works. If you don't lift heavy weights, which is pushing against heavy resistance, you don't build any muscle. If you don't run long distances and cause yourself to breathe heavy and sweat, you don't build any endurance. So putting on live events is a way for me to build endurance, for me to build empathy, for me to build stamina, and for me to challenge myself intellectually and emotionally and physically. So I, that's why I do it. It serves people. Why attend live events? Look at it from the attendee standpoint. It's the same. You have to leave your comfort zone, your normal environment. You have to travel somewhere. You have to stay in probably not the most comfortable accommodations, let's face it. Um, you have to sit in a seminar room for eight hours out of a day, not the most comfortable situation, and we try to make it more comfortable than normal seminars are. We bring you new skills, new emotional states, new experiences that will help enhance and grow your life. So again, it's discomfort that causes growth. It's just like new forms of exercise, or new sports, or new books to read, or new television shows to watch, or new people to interact with. The point of all this is I'm not talking about seminars. I'm not talking about exercise routines. I'm talking about discomfort. All the growth that you experience in your life comes because you're in some level of discomfort. And if you get to a point where you're saturated with comfort all the time, where you're never uncomfortable, guess what? You're not growing. And if you're not growing, what are you doing? That's right. You're decaying. You're dying. I plan to log at least another 50 years on this planet. In order to do that, I've got to grow. And to grow, I've got to push against resistance and do things that are challenging to me. So this is why we do new things. This is why we do hard things. As John F. Kennedy said, we choose to do these things not because they're easy, but because they are hard. And now you know why that is true. Did you find this helpful? I hope you did. If so, give it a thumbs up. Add your comments to the discussion. Be civil, but you can disagree, you can agree, you can share your own stories, give your own insights. I would love to hear from you. I do love to hear from you. I read every comment, I answer as many as I can. And I hope you'll do me the honor of subscribing to this YouTube channel. When you do, tap the bell icon 
so you get notified every time I publish a new video. And until that auspicious moment happens again, I pray that God blesses you with long and prosperous life and grants you peace to your house.